And welcome to this week's edition of the VX Factor Live Profiles in Entrepreneurship. Today we're with Leslie Flores with Moments by Design and we'll be right back. And welcome back to the VX Factor Live Profiles in Entrepreneurship. We're happy to have Leslie Flores with us today with Moments by Design. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thanks for having us out. Always yeah. love being with you guys. Always sure. a great time. Cool. So for those of our viewers who do not know about you or your business, why don't we start, just tell us a little bit about yourself, maybe a little bit about your background and, <laughs> and um, yeah, just share with us. Well, my background, that's a loaded question. Um, I am kind of one of those that I'll figure out what I'm going to do when I grow up, when I'm grown up um, kind of situation. So I've done everything from sales, marketing, ops, finance. Um, schooling background is actually in finance and biomedical, um, bio pre-med. Um, so just very diverse, um, have been in commercial real estate the last decade. Um, finance the last decade, half a decade before that, and now Moments by Design. So we are a party in a box solution, so something completely different. But this is a lot of fun, and I'm having the most fun I've ever had in my career, kind of creating this. You know, it's getting more and more common, I think, uh, with a lot of people that, you know, people don't have just one career or even two <laughs> careers <laughs> anymore, right? It's, it's like, you, you know, people, and I think that's, you know, I, I think it's really advantageous, particularly when you decide to go into business for yourself, because now you have this broad base of knowledge and experience. And, you know, a lot of people that we talk to on this show, they have a corporate background and then something just isn't clicking or they're not really getting what they want from that experience. And so they decide to kind of follow one of their passions and, and do something that, you know, that they really want to do. So what was, what was that process like for you? How did you decide that you wanted to become an entrepreneur and start your own business? I think what you're, you know, I completely agree with you. It was a journey, right? It wasn't just a singular moment. It was completely 100% a journey. And you're right, my, with my diverse background, there is no way that I could have started Moments by Design without having that foundation. So... I, I'm very lucky to have that. I know a lot of entrepreneurs go into business and they know what they know, and it's just that one singular item. Um, I struggle on a daily basis because I feel like I'm climbing Mount Everest while drinking from a fire hose, and that's having the diverse background I do. But it was I was in corporate America, worked for a great company, one of the global leaders in what they do, and I was very fortunate to be climbing the ladder. I mean, it was going great. I decided to just step away. I was kind of done with being on the planes, trains, automobiles every single week. Um, actually took another uh, job, another corporate job, and had some time off, some ni nine months in between. During that time, um, my husband, I'm a New Year's Eve baby, my husband decided to try to throw me a birthday party. It's like fantastic, all the fun, none of the work. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't exactly turn out that way right. though. Um, <laughs> mistakes were made and the day before New Year's Eve, I'm asking my husband, well, when's the caterer showing up? What's the theme? Where's the goodie bags? All this stuff. And he's like, I didn't do any of that. I figured, you know, I'd invite some people. We always have a full bar. Like, I'd go to Eatsies and ta-da, party. Mm. And I'm like, sweetheart, that is a Thursday night at our house and not a New Year's Eve <laughs> party. <laughs> like, that's not okay. So I run around all day long, 14, 15 different places throughout DFW, and on New Year's Eve? Well, the no. day before. Okay. So, yeah, day before. Just as bad. Right? Just as bad. And I realized that the whole reason we had stopped entertaining was because I had been traveling Tuesday through Saturday for the last few years, and entertaining's work. Mm -hmm. So I looked for a solution, um, kind of a party-in-a-box solution. There really wasn't one. So I founded Moments by Design to create one. That's awesome. Great story. <laughs> <laughs> so what are... Um, I'm sure that there's viewers out there who are in a similar situation. Maybe they have just made a transition or maybe they are in a corporate position that they feel stuck in and really want to do something else. So if you were to give a couple of pieces of advice to someone in that situation, maybe maybe based on what your process was, like how do you how did you actually prepare yourself to say, okay, I'm on my own now? and this is what I'm doing, and that kind of that moment of no return. 
Right. So my biggest advice to any aspiring entrepreneur would be to make a plan. Don't just quit corporate because you have a whim to become an entrepreneur and hey, maybe it's not working out at your current job. Being an entrepreneur is by far the hardest thing I've ever done. Um, you know, and I've worked high stress, you know, 90 hour weeks in the finance, you know, field, um, everything. I mean, and this by far is the hardest thing I've ever done. Um, so make a plan. Don't just jump because you think it's a good idea. This will be the hardest thing you will ever right. do. And I think you guys know that. Sure, yeah. um, so I would say make the plan, work the plan. You know, put deadlines in there. Hey, by this time I want to have found vendors. By this time I want to have saved up X amount of money. And research how much money you're going to need. Because as you get into like legal fees and everything, I mean, those are kind of a moving scale a lot of the times. Um, and you just, you never really know. So research work your plan for me I, I don't recommend doing it the way i did it where it was hey um i had quit my corporate job and taken another corporate job and just had some time off in the interim mm -hmm. and then decided to go and do this my own venture um this has made it a little it i mean if we needed we've been very fortunate in the fact that we haven't needed to secure any financing and so we are self-funding mbd 100 percent which very very fortunate to do but not a lot of people can do that right. and when you're going for a bank loan and everything they want to see that you still have a job yeah had we needed to acquire funding for mbd mm -hmm. this would have been near impossible with me having just quit my job and being sure. like hey well i'm just not going to accept my new role now <laughs> right so I would say, yeah, make the plan, work the plan, you know, talk to a lot of other entrepreneurs before you actually take the jump. I think one of the key things that you said, too, and, and we'll come back and talk about this on the other side of our break as well, but one of the key things you said is that it was a need that you saw and you went to try to find a solution and couldn't find a solution. So there was kind of some market proof in that as well because you knew from your own experience that there needed to be that there would be a demand for the type of solution that you were going to that you yeah. were going to create there was so. definitely some market research before i decided to just jump um, yeah. talk to friends talk to family talk to just random strangers um, with my background i'm very familiar with the executive office spaces so kind of went and traveled throughout all of them and just started talking to other entrepreneurs hey, if this was a solution that was out there, would you guys buy into this? And resoundingly, the answer was yes. Mm -hmm. um, and it's been funny because women love it with, oh my gosh, you just made my life so much easier. Because I mean, you know, we've got all the Pinterest moms nowadays mm -hmm. and everybody's trying to up everybody. And then men were just like, oh my God, I can finally be a hero to my wife. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> because she's always the one that's having to plan the parties. Yeah. And she's so stressed about having to do it. So I can finally be her hero. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, there was definitely some market proof before I jumped overboard. <laughs> really cool. So... We're going to take a, just a short break here in a minute, but on the flip side, I want to get into a little bit more detail about exactly what it is you guys do so that you can tell our viewers kind of how the process works and, and all the great things that services that you can provide for them. So, so we'll talk about that in just a moment, but first we're going to take a quick break and recognize our sponsors for today's show. So we'll see you back in just a couple of minutes. Adults in the U.S. consume five and a half hours of video content every day, almost one and a half hours on digital devices. 64% of consumers say that watching a marketing video has influenced a purchasing decision. Adding video to a website landing page can increase conversion by up to 80%. Are you ready to win with video marketing? Now is your chance to learn. Easy steps to add video to your current marketing. Why a three-tiered video content strategy is best. Best practices for live video on social media. Pros and cons of professional versus DIY video. And tips for getting better results with video. Gain the confidence to grow your business and brand with video marketing. Request your speaker today. definition of a co-working space is set up for the small businesses. This is my first time um, foraying into becoming an entrepreneur and so leaving corporate life behind, it's a very new adventure. What I like about VentureX is actually the collaborative and community 
focus that you can get here. The events that go on, I've actually actually picked up clients at these events, and some of the members here are actually my clients. So I think that's a major plus. The, the way Nadim um, is always there and is ready to listen to you and very flexible with any of your needs. Um, that's remarkable and very, very different from all the other experiences that I've had. I love working out of here. I love the atmosphere. I love the people. I love the fact that sometimes different members will come up and just kind of converse and we get to kind of get out of our own heads and help each other. I like the design of, of VentureX. It's, it's motivational. It's inspirational. Um, and each, each location is different and unique in its own way. Being in the architecture industry and in the construction industry, I'm on to my job sites like four to five times a day. And so in and out is very easy here. Um, parking right in front of you and coming right in is very, very convenient. If you're sitting at a desk, you're not making money in real estate. So it's nice to be able to be mobile and still have an office setting where you can still meet, greet, and potentially meet new clients even. They have all the amenities I need, you know, so from printers to food to coffee. Uh, if there's something I need, you know, they'll go out and try to seek it and get it for me. So I think I, it's a major plus for me for what I do. I feel like my company looks bigger than it is, which is a one-person company. Taking away all these little headaches from an entrepreneur who, for the first time ever, I'm having to figure out how to be everything. <laughs> That's an amazing thing to feel like I've got some support system behind me. To really, really feel loved in the community, which is which, which helps anybody who's an entrepreneur and business owner. You know, it's nice to know that you got a whole team of cheerleaders uh, backing you up and cheering you on. Um, and so that's really how VentureX has helped me. All right, and welcome back to the VX Factor Live, Profiles in Entrepreneurship. We're going to continue our discussion with Leslie Flores with Moments by Design. So I want to pick up on a little uh, something that we were talking about just before the break. Um, and you mentioned going around to a lot of the different, you know, workspaces and things like that as some of your market research and kind of, you know, leads me to put in a little bit of plug for, for VentureX as well. It's where we met because we're both members at... VentureX by the Galleria. Um, what has that type of, I mean, I know it informed some of your market research and proof of concept, but also, you know, how has that type of environment and VentureX in particular helped you as far as in the launch of your business? So it's all been invaluable to me. Mm -hmm. I mean, all of it. So again, coming from a corporate background where I had a team of people <laughs> that I've, you know, been able to manage and rely on. And now I'm, I, I mean, I have a team, but they're a team of graphic designers. Yeah. Um, I've got a small team of operational people. But at the end of the day, everything falls on me. And so having a place where, like VentureX, where I can come to Nadim or any of the other experts here, because there's experts in marketing, experts in video, experts in, you know, uh, commercial real estate. I mean, everything here. So... If I need to get something done, I'm not by myself anymore. I can rely on them and pull them in, and everybody's been so great. You guys mm -hmm. have been awesome to work with on the projects we've done. You know, Nadim here especially has been amazing. I mean, he lets us shoot our, our promotional pictures here, like everything. So mm -hmm. just, I mean, it's been a great resource. It's been met amazing people, and mm -hmm. it's been a great place to launch the business. Cool. So getting a little bit more in detail about the business. So, party in a box, yes. right? Yes. But it's a little bit more than that because you actually help someone come up with a theme, even custom design we that do. theme for them, even down to like a music playlist. And I mean, we so do, yeah. to just give us the rundown about, you know, how that process works. So we're trying to make party planning just as easy as we can be, right? So you're not running around to 14, 15 different places the day before like I was, right? Mm -hmm. um, so what we've done is we have curated custom designs that you can't see. Our designs you can't find anywhere else. Our graphic designers create them. And then we actually 
we're green as well. So all of our cups and plates are made here in the USA and they're plastic, so they're actually dishwasher safe. Mm. What about like on the corporate side and things like that? Is that something that you're focusing on or more like direct to consumer? It really is. So given the fact that we are the only one that can print the way we can print, because our plates are also the only ones, normally when you do a customized plate, you only get that two inch diameter in the middle. We're the only ones that are able to print like full scale. You have like real busy times versus non-busy times? I mean, are the traditional like holiday times pretty busy for you? Do people need to plan those out a little bit further ahead of time? I definitely think we're gonna have, you know, yeah, we're, we're gonna have high points in our season. Um, I think we're gonna be a very, we're gonna be based on seasonality, You're right? right? Um, but we're always going to make an effort to have everything in stock. We carry everything in stock. Um, mm -hmm. So we carry a full inventory. And so the minute we are out of inventory, we will also update our sites and everything else to let people know so they're not ordering something and then not able to get it. The worst thing that can happen for us as a business is for you to think that you have a party solved mm. and then for us to tell you, oh no, sorry, we don't have it. Mm. So we will do, we will bend over backwards to make sure that you have it mm. and that we are making sure that. So the things you have in stock, I'm assuming it's a pretty quick turnaround time. If somebody wants to do like a corporation, they want to do some of that custom printing and stuff. What's the uh, what's a typical lead time on those those types of things? So shortest lead time would be one month. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of want two weeks for, to work with our graphic designers and then two weeks for production. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I mean a month and you're getting a customized party. Okay. We've got some really fun add-ons like popcorn bars. I know you guys have seen our donut yeah. wall because we had yeah. it out here at Venture X. Mm, donuts. <laughs> yeah, no, tell me about <laughs> it. Um, you know, mimosa bars, whatever mm. it is, our ice cream bar setup. Um, so you set those, and then basically we just ship everything to you, and you just get to party. I mean, how fun is that? Right. It's what I was looking for, right? right. You know, <laughs> all the fun and none of the work. Right. <laughs> so hopefully in a year, everybody knows about us. Okay. Well, that's great. Well, I really appreciate you taking the time to come by and uh, and talk to us today and talk to our viewers and give them some insight on entrepreneurship. Um, it's always exciting to see. It's one of the cool things that we get to do in our business is meet a lot of other business owners and people that are doing some very unique and creative things. And I think Moments by Design like falls directly in, in the middle of that. It's a really great idea and I um, think you're doing a great job with it and, and executing very well. So we wish you all the success in the world. Well, so, thank you. Yeah. And thanks for having me on. Absolutely. So that's our show for this week, and we hope to see you again next Tuesday at 1030 right here on our Sync Lab Media Facebook page for the VX Factor Profiles in Entrepreneurship. Have a great week, and we'll see you next Tuesday.